so here we go. Ooh, flight control start for the aliens as Sonoman and the Godar Marines in Data Core doing a three one one split. Oh, and the aliens sure. moving out in a pack with a drifter. <laughs> Sonoman is trying to go for it here. And it looks like they're going to get caught. Ice felt taking down one. Now there's four on their way. Grissy, the second line of defense here, takes down another. So that's three skulks. Oh, but they have two, two IPs. IPs. Valk is out. Uh, Ice felt is out. Wow. And they've just eliminated all of them. No RTs dropped during that time. None for the Marines either. So they're still in a good position here. I, you know, I actually think it's smart for them to do the base rush there early on in this game because if it works, great. If it doesn't work, you're probably not in a bad spot based on how they did that. Yeah, you can just spawn. You have enough eggs at the start to like, supply that amount of life bombs you need. And it's just scouting. Right. They're free. They cost nothing. They only lost the Drifter. But as you said, really, Peachum should have dropped at least Kravis Complet. If you force all the Marines to go back to the base, it's another minute of super safe time where they will not be able to push any of your harvesters. Absolutely. So we see a lot of 1v1 engagements. Yeah, Alcade versus V and North in Atrium dancing around. And at the same time, Crossroads, Spike and Grizzly trying to build it up. Big, big pack coming in, but oh, nice shooting here by all of those Moraines. Alcade winning in North and the Moraines and Crossroads winning their engagement as well. Looking pretty great for Gordon. Looking at the kills, Grizzly. One already. Yeah, Godar's doing a great job of winning these engagements after that first assault. Getting up RTs throughout the map, and now they've just got to start pressuring RTs themselves. Indas clearing out Computer Lab, and uh, Alcalde up in Atrium will move to Crevice pretty quick. He's only got one skull coming at him. There's a good chance he's going to win that engagement as well. Nice stuff for Mena. More skulls for the kill, but the skull has to move out. And yeah, I mean, Sonoman again, like all the games as Alien, do exactly the same. Going for this early rush, going for Shift Hive, going for the Spurs, um, you really reach a point where it's absolutely predictable. So, three Skulks going in the Atrium, Arcadio hiding around there, waiting for a perfect opportunity, and he tries to get one, but he's missing his bullets! Whoa! Could have got two skulks there, but in the end, it got cleared out. The atrium is going down. We have one marine ice well now working on Crevis while Ammo One is on the way. High Look at where the back. arms lab is in Data Core. Interesting placement of the arms lab. Mindas pressuring in flight control all the way up to the RT. Um, you know, which is good to pull the aliens back. It's going to give them time to go back up to atrium and rebuild an atrium. No one grabbed sub access at all. Um, phase tech not going because there's no OBS placed anywhere. Yeah, I think Would love to see an OBS get up so they get phase tech going already. I think they're doing the same that they're doing all the time. Like, armor one, capping five RTs, um, then get in weapon one and shotguns, and build the OBS when you can afford it, then the phase gate. So, one one shotguns into phase gate. And we've seen it from both teams too, pretty much in all the Marine games, and prove quite successful if you play the early game right. And Sonoman using the Echo again. You know, I just don't think the strategy has worked for them. So, all right, yeah, well. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, Peachum is doing crazy stuff from time to time. He's trying to be creative and really trying to utilize everything the game throws There at is him. no room for creativity in this house, okay? <laughs> oh, the Lurk is in the field. Llama, Llama, a little bit aggressive here. Man, if Llama oh, no. goes down right now, that would just be so bad. Armor 1 complete, level 1 weapons going right away. Still no OBS built at all. I'll probably be next. I think they can't afford it. Bald goes down. Three-man pressure in Crossroads. Mindas from across the way. He's going to try to rush in and save this RT. Pressure from Grissy uh, in flight control, pulling the aliens back. And Mindas saves Crossroads with... Crazy fire there. 
You know, for a moment the Marines were a little bit out of position. It was just Mandas and Crossroads, which is super important. If you leave Crossroads open, and you have two Marines in the north, two Marines down in Comfortable somewhere. This is the trigger for the enemies to go straight into base via Crossroads, and with no ops up yet, this could be devastating. Uh, you know, aliens are in a lot of trouble here. The uh, the extractor here in Crevice is down. They've never gotten the one up in uh, Computer Lab. The Marines are sitting on six themselves. Shotguns are coming out. Level one weapons about to go online. The OBS being built at base. We're gonna see a Crossroads phase gate. I almost guarantee it. And then maybe even a Computer Lab one. And this is gonna get nasty really quick. Yeah. So we see rival doing exactly the same build order. Ammo one, weapon one, shotgun started, ops building, and as soon as he can afford it, we'll go into phase tech. Oh, again, 1v1. Valder versus Arcade, but not in a good position. The Skulk should get out of there. So, um, Gold is playing perfectly. I think they're really focusing right here. Positional wise, not leaving open spots for the aliens to. Utilize um, all their 1v1s or 2v2s or 1v2s. They're already on top of everything. God is playing a perfect marine round so far. Well, I don't think Godar could have asked for a better map to play on. Summit is their strongest map by far. The marine team is, you know, really good. I think we've seen that every round that they've played. And, uh, you know, if they can just hold out the right amount of time. They are going to do some serious damage, and we could be seeing them make it to the final. Yeah, absolutely. Good chance here. It's really up to Starterman to make something work. A little bit more RT pressure coming up. They're catching the Gorge Light, but oh, he gets a spin kill! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I was going to say, it's not smart to go one-on-one -on -one oh. in that event. <laughs> Well, there's absolutely usually no way for the court to survive, but I think the map packs were coming a little bit late. Ring out, still on commanding. And here comes a little bit more rest fighting. Seven minutes a game, only three extractors down. Just showing how good position those Marines are. Phase tech is complete. We haven't seen it dropped here yet. Cross, there it is. Mandas Icefield coming in, cleaning out those Marines, just to, <laughs> to gorge with the bubblers around him. But, oh, Lifer! Oh, they're all coming in here to try to clean this up. They don't want that phase gate started at all. And this is a good win for Sonoman right here. Yeah, they should kill the but power. at the potential expense of Computer Lab, Llama coming in, shotguns are out. Oh, Lama should watch out, he should keep the distance versus those shotgunners <laughs> clearly do not want to lose your lurk right now. And I think they should have taken out the, the power in Crosser really fast, just sacking the Harvester in the comp lab. I mean, they're losing it anyways, and buying that little extra amount of time in Crossroads can really help out since, look at that, three Marines building the face gate, there's no way to deny that this time. Absolutely. Still sitting on four extractors is a good position for them to be in right now. They're about to lose sub-access. They can recap reactor pretty easily. Um, and even get sub-access back at this point. Yeah, I just realized Crossroads was heavily taken. Too many Marines there. Um, yeah, we try to jump in. Realize it's not a good idea. Try to come behind them, trying to escape in reactor. This, Aliens no. have just lost Computer Lab and they've echoed out of flight to Computer, or sorry, they lost Crevice and echoed to Computer Lab. So now they're going to rebuild again. And you know, it's just, I don't feel like that's a wise choice because now Icefelt is going to move straight down to Computer Lab and all he's got is Wii against him. And Ice has got a shotgun. Yeah. Valve and Llama making their way in too. And uh, we actually took down Icefelt by surprise. Well, but I'd love to see that in the final match like this, where so much is on the line, so many different tactics being used, and this will open up lots of discussions throughout all the teams, like, should we try it, can we use it, is it worth it, and everything else, but a team with, like Sonoman being that strong, showcasing that you could use it, and I don't know, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say necessarily this is a bad idea, just straight because I don't like it, but... 
I think maybe I'm missing some parts. That, but... Weapons two's online. Thirty-seven res in the bank. We're still, you know, a minute or so away. They are getting uh, a third harvester up down in sub access. Valk is trying to save ventilation here. He does. Now he'll move quickly down to sub and eliminate that RT, but there isn't a skulk down here. We is coming in. Oh. And now with help, Llama could be in trouble. Llama having trouble getting out of that room. Oh. And oh, Lipa down here with Peachum, so two gorges. Down in sub. I don't quite know why there's two gorges in sub. Alcalde is working on computer labs. Lipa is in here now with Tane. And Chris is in the hive getting taken out by Llama. So they're keeping up the pressure everywhere, keeping pretty much everything guarded. And they do have a robot crossroads, so turrets are on the way. Yeah, they're dropped and being built by Mendes. And here we go three fades, no upgrades. I mean, they can get upgrades, but they don't no have upgrade. enough res to get the upgrades right now. Ah, uh, yeah. It's... So, three fades. Yeah, they changed the gameplay. Leaper was usually saving up for honor, so he went for Gorge this time. And they're cleaning up quick, but weapons two, shotgun, sentry battery already out, Robo already out in crossroads. Six RTs. Oh, I mean, you know. Yeah. That if they can do this right, they can take down this hive pretty quick. Yeah, but right now they will still be a little bit stuck in the upgrading. They will probably get armor to you next, which they can't afford right now. But after that, uh, yeah, and after that there will be lots of map packs being used with the pack play coming in. While they're scouting the turrets inside Crossroads, and it's up to Sonoman get a big, big, good puck push going up. Quite surprised why we don't see Umbra research. They can't afford it. They do have still a lurk. Llama is up, and Umbra is so powerful. So I really hope Sonoman will do that. Yeah, Gorge Tunnel between the two hives is going to help quite a bit. It does look like they're saving up to drop the second hive as quickly as possible. They want to get that biomass up as much as they can. They also want to get Carapace out for themselves. These shotguns are really doing a lot of damage to all the life forms in there. And that was a good pushback by Godar. Pressure over in flight control though. Grissy and Mindasp in here. And they will lose their shotguns. No chance to survive this. So we keep, they will keep their 2 2 splits up, keep a little bit soft pressure on sub. Definitely not overcommitted on that. It will just um, try to keep upgrading. Maybe get a face kit maintenance access on ventilation. Could be possible here. As the hype is dropped and sub, and ventilation just go clean down. Yeah, three fades. Pretty tough to go against, even with two shotgunners. But Armor 2 is just about online. Two Marines, Mindas and Grissy, pushing their way into flight control. And they're going to go straight for the upgrades. Oh, utilizing shotguns for that. I would expect usually on Sacrifice Marines, LMGs only. But they have enough p flow to support that. Oh, Nano Shield's also being used. Hitting quite a lot there. Oh, Wee we is in trouble, but Mindas had to reload at the wrong time. <laughs> so did Grissy. They got two of the Spurs down, though. So they're still in a great position with five extractors of their own. The second high has been dropped. It's almost built. You've got two gorges power building that thing down there. Um, and a phase, phase gate up and ventilation. Yeah, I love that. I like that very much. With that, you can keep always the pressure up to sub without even attacking it. And just hold the position down there. But nice timing by Sonoman coming in just before... Oh! The bio bomb coming out. The fades, you know, this is a tough situation. The fades jumping over that railing and stuff could be just enough time to take him down. Gorge goes down on the way in. Now they're hitting eggs. They're doing, trying to do any damage they can down the sub access. And all the while over in Crossroad, there are still no arc upgrades. I wish and so done. no arcs assaulting. I'd love to see him do the arc upgrade right now. Uh, I would further go, first go for upgrades like advanced armory, jetpacks, whatever, and the arcs just as the final measurement right now on the upgrade pattern. Uh, yeah. Oof. Put a sentry battery down here. They need it so bad. It's such a tight area. Oh! It's the perfect place. And Tane goes down. One fade down. Vald and we, the only ones left, is fade. Oh, and Vald's in a tough situation. Tough. Oh, wow. 
Now they're making what was already a tight corridor, even to an even tighter corridor. Oh, the sentries are not really covering the face gate in crossroads. The positioning is quite weird, look at that, the face can easily grind on the gate. But here we go, they have to watch out, the marines are facing in, we pretty long health, can he make it out? They gotta get back to vent though. They oh, gotta get back to vent, like right now. They gotta get over there. Oh, the face gate! <laughs> oh, wow. Did not no, this lose is a, the oh, that, that, yeah. That's not a good situation to be in. I actually think they're in a bad spot right now. If they lose Ooh. ventilation completely, that's going to be a nasty spot because they're losing res in reactor, crevice, atrium. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sonoman is coming back here. This is perfect gameplay right now. That was. I, I don't know what happened. Where do Marines were? They were somewhere on the map. Not able to face in ventilation. Oh, good phase gate location. Or uh, even, I mean, anything built right here. Summit Reception is one of my favorite places to assault from. And they're going Shade Hive second! Oh, they will have Ink Cloud and they will have Phantom. So switching up the gameplay, but remember... I think that the Ink is smarter for them in this situation. Yeah, but I, I don't think really there will be arc play on this map. But um, Phantom definitely helps out versus Marines on the skill level like Odor. They rely on the sounds a lot. And oh my god, Vault another oh, build Vault goes that. down! Oh god, again Sonaman having a... I mean a good comeback, good play, and then throwing away the life forms for nothing? With so much on the line, oh godness. This is painful. Very painful. They're working on the RT down there as much as they can. Alcalde's gotten reactor core and uh, atrium back. So that's good for them. They got six extractors pumping in again. Biomass now being researched on the hive down in sub access. Tain involved coming through the backside of Crossroads and they're actually going to head straight to reactor core and try to work on res. Mendasp unopposed. He's working as much as he can. We coming and cleans him up from computer lab. But, but that uh, harvester there is pretty low, which is a good possibility of getting taken down very quickly here. Now they're blocking off the summit reception entryway there. Makes it a really tight fit. And I'd love to see a sentry battery put in this room as well. I think it would be huge to have to run through cross and then have to run through here. The sentry batteries could actually yeah. probably do what they need to do. Yeah, with that face gate, the summit cross is absolutely safe. If you lose one of those two face gates, it's super easy to reinforce super quickly. And with Summit, they hold control over Crevice, hold control over Atium. It's much harder for the Skulls to run past them somewhere. Oh boy, so we have two bales up. They do have Phantom or Aura, whatever they want to use. Firebomb is up as well for Sonoman. The economy is almost equal. Going to down to four, Sonoman down to three, or still on three harvesters. And Computer Lab has been healed, so it's back up to 100. You got Biobomb. Peachum is Biobombing in Crossroads. Icefelt's got to get in here, but not before all those sentries go down. <laughs> Peachum's dancing around this pole. Trading a Gorge for the turrets, why not? Oh, we! No, no, we! No! <laughs> that was so <laughs> close. Oh, back at Marine start though. Vald is working on the phase gate, just trying to harass, bring as many Marines back as he can. And he's bringing back four. Gets the phase gate down to 40% though, and in comes a fade. Alcalde trying to finish it off, that he'll retreat. I think the Skulk should have rather get to a reactor core and bite some RTs. It's... And now we've got the advanced armory going. Yeah. So Choo Choo going into jetpacks, that's going to be the choice by, by High Vol here. Slowly and steadily, just keep those five extractors up. Keep turrets, but yeah, there's no turrets in summon as you said. And could be an idea, but also that's some extra res. I think the turrets just in hub are sufficient and crossroads. Nah, put more. I mean, it doesn't hurt you to do it. <laughs> oh, two marines in the hive, looking for some upgrades to kill. And they have to run out. Oh, same time, nice job by Tania, <laughs> killing <laughs> a marine cross. Everything goes down. <laughs> oh, the phase gate. Beach him and we got a phase gate over here in summit reception. Is about to go down. 
Yep, that's right, it took out the phase, but keep in mind with Crossroads still up, they can instantly reinforce three Marines already on the way. Four Marines make that! Oh, and V has to watch out, you know. Oh, yeah, we, we, we has to be really careful. The crevice is probably not the smart way to go when he was moving out there. They're going to easily recap back up an atrium again as well. So they're in a good spot. Pressure from Ice Felt over in ventilation. They really do need to take down Alien Res. Advanced Armory is done and Biomass has been started again. It looks like it was cancelled in favor of something else earlier. Oh, in ventilation. Icefield is trying to draw V into the pit. <laughs> is not falling for the trap. Literally. Phase gates back up in Summit Reception. Res and Atrium is being finished. And Computer Lab was getting harassed down to 57%. Labor again doing a good job here as a Skulk, working on a reactor core, one more ring coming here to save it. So we have almost equal RTs the whole time. The problem is Sonoman threw away two fades. And yeah, it <laughs> really comes back to this. So looking at the PRS count, we have Llama on 40, but he's still alert. Labor getting close to fade. But the other one, other guys take much longer time to go refade, so they will have to keep on playing with this versus maybe potentially upcoming jetpacks. So far, V is doing an absolutely great job here, on killing all those lonely marines, trying to harass comp lab, being active on the map, being active against the recappers. Next push you're coming to Crossroads. Skalks are actually working on the turrets. No Proto Lab. We're at 32 res, so that could be coming next. And Gouda is quite busy recapping notes, as you can see. Valk is in ventilation, Arcadia was in the north, and Atrium Reactor Core and Travis um, keeping their duties up. And I mean, they lost 15 extractors. Looking at the rest craft, there was lots of up and down recently, but the eco is still too high for Goder. Mendas has got to get some shots on Peachum in here. They just lost that max, so they're going to lose the armory here. Ice Felt coming in now with Mendas. They can probably take Peachum down if they wanted to push, but I think that's not smart to do that if they don't want to. Oh, both teams are really... I mean, this is a stable line. This is complete like a lockdown scenario here. Aliens keep trying to work on those RTs, the Marines can't really commit, can't really push, they want to keep on tacking, but they're busy on recapping or rebuilding those turrets, those RTs, um, dropping map packs, everything else. We and Tane out as fades now, Lipa has enough to go fade again. So I mean, we're gonna see three fades again. Or he's saving for honors, as he did on Tram. Oh, big push here in Summit. Oh my oh. god, V! Oh my god, we goes down. Oh. And the Proto Lab is complete. Eight res in the bank, though, but five extractors online. I don't know if he's going to wait for jetpack or if he's going to drop more RTs. I think he's just going to go for the jetpacks. Oh, we also have another fade. Tain just went up. The Laper could have faded now. With three fades, they could have gone for really powerful pack play together with the Umbra Lurk. But again, Solomon doing this kind of trick, like losing face in really bad timings. Jetpacks have been started. Uh, Not a lot of use of grenades or flames in any of the games that we've seen. Nope. Peach him up in the vent. Yeah. Uh, going for the power to take out the... Uh, the phase gate at Summit Reception? Oh, that's really smart. The jetpacks are not quite up yet. Oh, that's... I mean, that's an idea we all have could have, like, get earlier. I mean, that is really cool. And there's nothing those Marines can do. They could buy a GL, that's it. Oh, oh and, and Summit Reception's in a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Alcalde's got the Nano Shield, which is helping a lot. But this power node is taking a lot of damage from Biobomb down to 37%. Mindas now coming into support. The Mac has to stay back in order to heal. And Tane coming in to wipe him out. Now down to 30%. 
Oh, trying to weld it, trying to keep the Gorge away. Just constantly looking on Peachem. And is the face gate powered by Kravis now? Did it relocate it? Um, I mean, look, look at it. It's pretty much exactly between those two rooms. And it's still powered! Oh! oh! <laughs> so good. Jetpacks are just about to come online here in about 10 seconds. Here they go. Jetpacks are available. Still no arcs. Nope. From the Robo. Not even an upgrade. Nope. Get weapon three. We first. do have Grissy moving into sub. Oh, he can take out Wii right now. Shoot Wii. Shoot Wii. He doesn't Wii. see it. He doesn't see it. There was a scan. Oh. Oh my god, the commander scanned and everything. I bet he wasn't even looking to see what the health oh. was. He would have known. <laughs> oh no. And there we go. The arc factory now being built. Oh, and you could have taken out that. Damn it. Damn it, man. <laughs> I think we had the exact the same with Tram. With, yeah. Some other fate. Oh my god. So we will. Did you have two fates? Valder on 41. They can't even go to. They could get four fates right now. No, five even. Lama on 55. Oh my god, they summed up a lot of PRS here. I think Lama's going for the Onos. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. I, you don't know, because or I mean, he's not going to give up his Lurk as long no. as it's being effective. No, they, they need the Lurk for the Umber as well, so... But I think there's a strong chance that he'll probably, you know, hold on to it anyway until the higher life form. I agree. If he reaches like 70 or 80, then he could also get on us. But before that, the Amber is so helpful for those fates. And talking about fates, those lose them right now. I mean, they should re wait for the more upgrades. And Laper is fate. They have three fates now. Valder is going about fate. We will see four fates. Four fades. I see, and this is why I say I think there could have been more centuries up. Oh, so this arc is just hitting the harvester. That's actually nice, yeah. Yeah, you gotta stop, you know, you gotta stop the res flow. And the only way to do that is to eliminate these harvesters from a distance, which is a good move on their part. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty much risk free. It'd be rate. great to get Mindask into Computer Lab right now and take down that Computer Lab RT at 78%. Same time, several freights actually working on the harvesters. There's no more Skulks left, so the Fates have to do the job themselves. It's just the Commander, Peach, the Fates, and the Lurk. And if they can clean out the big part here, we see V engaging some Shotgunners inside Summit Reception. The Fates are not working together as a big pack right now, but they have to move together. Leap is on the way, which will not help them at all unless they... I don't know why you're turning that arc around. You've already lost it. Oh, you can bait some fates as they're doing right now. Umbra out, helping quite a bit in that situation. Did little to no damage whatsoever. Peachum now coming out. All the fades here in one big swoop. One Marine is making his way down to sub-access right now. And this could be a moment for them to do some serious damage in sub-access as he starts to assault the hive down in sub-access with no crags. There are no crags in sub-access. <laughs> Oh, but many shotgun and many jetpackers going down. The aliens managed to swarm on the face gate and Kravis. Kravis is about to go down. One fate is in the south. Valder working on Chrissy before he can kill all those upgrades. Kravis face gate got recycled. Oh my god, what a back and forth game. Wild in a lot of trouble. Peach him. Coming in as Skull to help. Can he take down Grissy? Get out, Leipa! Get out! Oh! And then Sleepia goes down! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why would you want to do that now? He blinked We've into the armory! We've seen 20, 20 extractors to 6 uh, harvesters go down. And now well. we and Vald are making their way into Crossroads to work on the power, the robo. Uh, trying to do whatever damage Marines. they can, but now look what's pushing in. I mean, now you got two arcs, three jetpackers. Yeah, go there, enough rest flow to get it back the up. Ink oh, is going using off. the ink cloud versus the arcs. And by bomb. Laper, after you died, using the gorge, best he can do. 
Oh, Valk stuck in the corner, almost dying to the spikes. Should be noted that uh, Sub is still at 74%. And I think if you just kept sending one guy down there with a shotgun, you'd be in a pretty good position. Exoskeleton starting oh, and Tate goes down! He... Yeah, died in a hive in flight. Oh my god, oh my god, Sonoman losing half their fates, down to just two. Valde and V, can I hold it off? God, this pressure by Goder. It really looks like Sonoman has no clue how to react to this. And it's really tough. This methodical slow play by both teams as Marines. Oh, the Lord goes down, Llama dies inside flight control. Nice shot by Katie. This could be the point where they finally pull back and Godar could be in the right situation to finally take one of these hives down. Grissy headed down south again. Llama spawning and going right into the shotgun. Exoskeletons are very close to being complete. And um, Akadi is the only one that can go... Um, oh my god, Grissy almost killing two fates by himself. I have to... <laughs> I would watch Grissy aim, that's amazing. At the same time, but we have Marines inside flight control. There's action all over the place. And Axel's about to finish. Who's gonna have an Axel? Al-Kady. Yeah. I would like to see al Qaeda just go down to sub-access. With Grissy and everybody else keep pushing on flight. Yeah, or just hold some in, in, in this tight corridor there. I think, yeah, that's a great idea. Could work out perfectly. From, from Sap there, from this angle, we can shoot down the hive so damn fast. Okay. All upgrades, three rails, three spurs. Again, up for Sonoman. Still sitting on two harvesters, lost comp. No, they, they got comp led back up. And they even dropped flight control. There's no arc about to siege it. Just a scan showing it, revealing it to the marines. Should definitely have an arc close to the power node. Just for keeping that RT down. Oh, but Menace was about to die. <laughs> so close. Three aliens on the face gate again. Summit reception. Oh, Tane! Tane could be in trouble there. We could be in trouble there. This is a tough situation because with all the welders, with the Mac out there, I mean, they're just out healing everything here. And now dual minigun Exos being researched. And they don't want to mess around. Alcalde is going to take it, and he's going to take it in style. Yeah. Here comes another arc. Whoa. Probably work on the harvester here. Those they didn't get down uh, computer lab, and Grissy is working on Lipa here in ventilation. Oh god, so many marines, so many jetpacks dying. I mean, the PRS is also dropping for Goda, even with six RTs, they lost so much equipment in this. This is just crazy, and Grissy, annoying as he is, again drawing aliens down to sub. So the face gate is now open in Summit. Again, I don't know why there's not a sentry battery in Summit Reception. As much engagement as going on here, put it in the corner over here, and then put, you know, three sentries just firing into the room. I agree, just, yeah. Yeah. I I'll call day now. Sense, yeah. uh, he's at 72 res, so I do believe that's enough for him to get the dual minigun, correct? No, he already has um, dual minigun. Oh, there we go, and I'll call day. It's time, baby. And he's going to wreck or no? I was dun, wondering. Dun, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So he will go with the big push in flight control. Not going for summit with Chrissy. As the face kit does go down in summit, but with all the backup, here we see Al Qaeda moving on. Personal Mac and Mendes. And oh yeah, there are the aliens. Just scouted it in the face. Oh, shift going down and sub. Grissy again taking down structures. While well, the big push is commencing in summit.
you can see that more and more marines are fighting without jetpacks because they're losing too much of their equipment. Turn around, Alcalde! Oh, he's alone. Alcalde is alone. Oh, he's in a bad spot! Oh my he's god! In a bad spot. Oh god, he oh, can't we, get it! We, we, oh! can't get out! We can't get out! They took down the Alcalde! So Holy crap, that was fast! Wow! How did they do that so fast? Wow, Solomon. Amazing teamwork. I mean, Alcalde was too greedy. Absolutely no backup. It was just Mandas at the start. He died and he kept on moving forward. Without waiting for the other Marines to come in, oh my god. And Sonoman's wow. still three fades. Guys, this game might take longer. This might take longer. I don't longer. know, Sonoman is pulling this thing back. <laughs> now spreading up into Atrium. The only phase tech that's up is in Crossroads. Oh my god, and they even cleared out all the Marines, all extractors but three. Godor actually dropping down in res, if you look on the res craft there. I, they lost their in, influx of income. They have only one shotgun in the field. I think there's no jetpack right now. Well, I'm paying for those EXO and dual wielding EXO emptied their bank account when they could have gone for weapons three, which might have been more effective for how well they were winning their engagements. And remember, they're not on three three. They just have two two because they went straight into arcs, straight into that EXO. Uh, yeah, I really would have loved weapon three instead earlier. But here it comes. It might bite it back. So we see, oh, lots of infestation dropped in and off, but this chain is broken, although this might die pretty fast. And there they go, they're starting to pop. Oh, power down, gear 3 marines about to die. There's just one shotgun in this mix, fuck. And wow, and they're about to lose ventilation. Alcade is really Oh my critical. god. Oh my god. Sonoman, Sonoman! Coming back somehow from this? Can you believe this game, Wasabi? 37 I, minutes. I, I really can't. And I think that uh, if. And it, right now, it seriously looks like Sonoman is taking this back. I Getting mean, those fades yeah. up, not once, but twice after <laughs> death. <laughs> Oh, the first GL in the field, Valk using a GL now. Still not a single flamethrower the whole match. Baidi's already complaining in the back, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Goda, they need to recap desperately right now. They need the rest flow back up. Maybe even a face gate, a safe face gate in Atrium to stabilize themselves first. Maybe get 3-3 three, three up before the push again. As long as those fades are up, they cannot really commit for a heavy push. Wow. And Sonoman just keeps the pressure up. He's come in, sniping max everything that costs resources for Godor. Oh! Llama! <laughs> oh, Llama was so smart. He's like flying in the corner as hard as I can. Fly! Wow. And Gordor has 4 RT, is about to lose Atrium, about to lose Reactor, and I mean they will be down to 2 Extractors. I... I... I really think this is it. I cannot believe I'm saying that either. <laughs> Godar completely had this game at so many points, and just uh, somehow did not pull it away. Yeah, I th crazy. I mean... And everybody in the chat just caught up with the EXO moment, they're like, what?! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that thing died, like, instantly. Yeah, that was super fast. And he made a big, big mistake, go alone! He didn't have the backup, he went cheap- I mean, it was really- sorry, that's just one word for that, that's cocky. And the fact that, you know, Sonoman was able to hold roughly four, you know, three or four RTs all that time, they were able to get these life forms back. I mean, look! Uh, Lipa has 21, 22. I mean, they're all so close again, you know, just grabbing more and more res. They're gonna take oh, down look, Atrium, Atrium, probably. There was oh, one more hit on we, One more hit on we. Oh, we get out! Oh, we oh, oh, get <laughs> <laughs> So not only do they just lose we, they're gonna lose that third hive, oh, which God. took away almost all the res. <gasps> Shoot the hive! <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? We just lost the fate and a hive. I mean, Gorder is not out yet.
corners are not out yet. They just need to kill the other two fates, and oh. then they're unstoppable. Oh they need God. weapons three. They've got 33. I think that's what he's saving up for right now. He's either weapons or armor three. I would say weapons three at this point. They need to be able to do just that much more damage. Oh, I think I'm losing my mind today, Wasabi. That is... Too much. <laughs> Too much awesomeness here in this matchup. I can't believe this. Okay, so right now, Sonoman has... I think... I, look at the PRS! There's no much backup. I mean, they do have the three fades, but if they lose them, they cannot replenish. And Goda is crawling back to four active extractors. Oh my god. I honestly have no clue who is gonna win that. All I can tell you that both teams feel the pressure. They feel the pressure. This is the ace game. This is the last game. Whoever wins this goes to UK and whoever screws up will be forgotten. Oh my god. Peachim now working on ventilation using biobomb. Keep killing the extractors. They will drop down to two. Go to not able to establish an economy yet again. Walk throwing a grenade right into himself there in summit reception. Oh, and Volk's gonna go down! Oh, oh! He was so close. He threw a grenade right into his own face again. Oh, four Marines, one jetpack in a mix. I think there's two shotguns still. But here we go, the first going down, which is really painful. They cannot replenish those shotguns and jetpacks easily anymore. That time is over. And now infestation spread all over the place in Atrium. They really don't want to give that back to the Marines. Re uh, reactor core is down. With a good biobomb push, they might even be able to eliminate crossroads. And they really need to do something right now. I mean, they need to not just drop five. They need to do something to really win this game. You mean Goda? Uh, Sonoman at this point. Well, I think Sonoman is... They need to keep the eco down, and that's exactly what they're doing. Keep reactor core down, keep ventilation down, keep the pressure up, and keep killing equipment because Gordon will run dry. They cannot afford upgrades for the last 15 20 minutes. The, I mean, the last 10 minutes had no chance to get any more upgrades like Weapon 3, Ammo 3. They're still not fully updated, and yeah, that's a big problem for them. If they have no economy, then Sonoman can slowly and surely just roll over them. And Wii goes down as Fade. I didn't really catch exactly where that was. That might have been right in front of me here in uh, Pipe Junction. No, Glass Hallway. I think it was Glass Hallway versus Valk. With three Marines now working, I think they're gonna try to get a face gate up Matrum. And I think that's desperately needed here. Aliens on five harvesters. Oh yeah, the power building the power node. Oh, tank coming in. Good timing there. But it's too much opposition. He has to watch out. This is a good timing to deal some damage elsewhere on the map. Peach, I'm trying to buy bomb the base, but Icefield is there. Power's going Ink up. being used even. That was a good move. Just blind him a little bit to what's going on. Your movement, everything that's happening. Enzyme being used. The Lurk, Llama, he's pretty low. Oh, here we come. Oh, just two Marines left. Grizzly's trying to finish that phase get Lots of med packs being oh, used. Oh my yeah, god! Yes. Wow. The fates are low. They can't do it. And the phase gate is up. The phase gate is up. Wee, 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 wee. Oh my god. Wee, wee. Oh my god. We got out of there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Goldor. Zero rest. No med packs. Zero rest. I want to go down. One fate less. Oh my god. Vald is enough to go fade again, though. Oh, lucky for him. Lucky for Sona, man. Because, I mean, they just lo lost Atrium. They lost Atrium. And if Goder... Someone... Yeah, yeah someone uh, needs to get to Reactor. Someone needs to take down the res here, and... Tane and we are just waiting. Oh, oh here my go. goodness. Oh, man, that's just facing back in time. Oh, and Tane in a lot of trouble. Oh. Tane was so low! S was V, both fades escaping with like 10 HP there. There we go, they've got enough infestation, they should be using it. 
uh, for bone walling in here. And oh, down goes that Gorgia, flings his body across the room. Oh yeah, Bono was absolutely good point. And there we go! Beachamp using the first bone roll. Mandas, the GL is down. Oh my god. Icefell picks up the GL. Firing off as much of those as he can, trying to get those crags down. Oh, <laughs> the next bone roll, trapping Grissy in. Oh my god, can I do it? Can I do it? Sauna man, just killing all the Moraines. Just Mandas facing in, the Moraines are going oh, down. No. Oh my god, and they're grinding the face gate! And dropping the hive immediately. Phase gate's been recycled. Atrium's been taken. Ventilation is dropped. Wow. Oh, and a gorge tunnel is up. I really. That is a crazy Vault, game for sure. Ice felt and Yavol making their way down the Yavol. The 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 commander is out. I think this is really Godar's last big attempt to do anything here. Oh, and yeah. And they're just not going to be able to do it. No, I think, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be in. Mendes almost killing himself with the GL. And Godar's desperate. Wow. Going for desperate push. And, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm going to expect it here any second. I think they're sitting there in T-Suite going, oh my god, how did this happen? But oh. I really think that this is going to be the GG from Godar because this map is completely owned by Sonoman. Sonoman right now. There Holy is a sneaky crap. face gate in Crevice. The power is still up, but there's a drifter scouting it. Oh my god, Sonoman. There 30 go. coming in. extractors lost in this game. 46 minutes into this game. Something like 15 fades. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh my god. You know, interestingly enough, the team kills have been even this whole match. Really going tit for tat against each other this whole time. The phase gate and summit reception goes down. Crossers is really all they've got. And there's just nothing stopping any expansion by the aliens right now. And now Biobomb all over Cross. Yeah, everything they lose, they cannot afford it to buy back. With just two extractors, impossible. Oh my god, and here we go. Oh, they're killing themselves! They're doing it style! GG! Congratulations to Sonoman on your exhaustive win. Taking it 4-3 against Godar. And you're headed to the UK to play live on stage at Insomnia with Blind and Hugh. Wow. Command station taking damage. Wow. Blind. Did you just watch that? I think so. I'm trying to digest <laughs> what I've just seen. <laughs> My door's ringing. I was too loud. Um, Do you think? Screaming, I, mean, I think. I mean, I think both teams did something, you know, different things that maybe weren't the best ideas for them. But in the end, Sonoman, probably one of the best comebacks we have ever seen in an S2 competitive play. Oh my god. Absolutely. That was, I think, the best match I've ever seen. Oh god, my door's ringing. Yes, I'm coming. And Blind leaves us! Congratulations! Congratulations, congratulations to, to both teams, both teams on, games on games well played! Well played. And, a and a special congratulations, congratulations to Sonoman! To Sonoman. And, good and good luck, good in, luck the finals, in the finals in the, in the, the, UK, the UK on the stage, on the stage at, Insomnia. at Insomnia! Fantastic, Fantastic gameplay! gameplay. Thank, you, Thank so you so much! Wow! So there you have it, folks! Uh, that so do I, yeah! I'm that back, is, sorry. that is, that is it. I mean, that is game, 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 and holy mackerel! Wow.